It's, oh, sweet. It is the best time to be a Nintendo fan because it's Direct Day once again, the third one for 2023. Now, of course, normally uh, I have Brandon Hankel with me as a guest, but I don't think he was able to make it this time. So instead, I have a different guest with me, and that, of course, is AJ Richards. Hello. All right. Well, you excited for this, AJ? I'm excited. All right. All right. So this, and it's also Sony State of Play later today as well. Oh, yeah. I saw that on someone's feed. Yeah, I'm probably going to skip the uh, State of Play, though, because I'm more of a Nintendo guy than I am a PlayStation guy. Mm. I think I already made that clear to Nick. Oh, oh it's starting. Okay, yeah, but some reason, like, there's a live thing behind them. Anyways, here we go. Okay, looks like we're starting with the side order DLC for Splatoon 3. Splatoon game? No, this is the uh, DLC expansion for Splatoon 3. I was being, um, rhetorical, Mark. Expansion pass. Side order, yep. Hello, everyone. I'm Shina Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, yours is a little You just faster saw a new mine. trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release oh. in Spring 2024, so please look forward to it. Spring 2024, that's several months away. Okay, let's see yep. our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. All right, let's see what we have. The toys are back in town. Donkey Kong. Are you serious? Mario. Here we go. Well, the rivalry that heated up on the I've Game Boy Advance system reunites on the Nintendo Switch Mario system. With his eyes on the prize, <laughs> Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. I thought this was like the down. Toy Mario's ones. <laughs> Well, the minis could stage, technically be contractions considered to be other challenges await. Mm. No, because there was a Nintendo DS game. Vital to your success. Yeah, March of the Minis. Mario needs to reach yeah. the key, but he can't quite cross yeah, the gap. Yeah, because I thought this was a remake hmm. of March of the Minis. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, now he can get across. And safely grab the key. Oh, it's a puzzle. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like that. A 
observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. Mario vs. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. February 16th, okay. Okay. Save the prince and the world. Oh, oh guide Sargon game. as he sets off yeah. to save the Prince of Persia the and Lost restore Crown. the yeah, world's balance. Yeah, next year. Tapping January. into the roots of the Prince of Persia yeah. series, yeah, this like, game features 2D side-scrolling action-adventure like, gameplay. Dash through breathtaking yeah. environments in a mythological, oh, yeah, Persian-inspired world. But don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers, to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th, you can receive the in-game Warrior yeah. Within outfit by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Oh, Speed through stunning environments, each with its own dynamic art style, while overtaking your rivals like on the road. racing kind of guy. Play the main campaign to unlock vehicles, I like courses, games, so this and more. Might be fun you can also sure. upgrade your vehicle and style Sorry. it to fit your high octane needs. Itching for more uh. racing action? Up to four speedsters can put the pedal to the metal in couch co-op or online. Go full throttle in Horizon Chase 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, Shadow Drop. Okay, interesting. Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Time your button rhythm presses castle. with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Up to four friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together in local or online play. Yeah, rhythm games Super I don't Crazy do, Rhythm so Castle launches on Nintendo me, Switch honestly. November 14th. Yeah. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Anya Forger has a new assignment from school, creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evenings. On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places, like the beach or an art museum, in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Mm. Mario's first RPG adventure yeah, returns. Yeah, I kind of figured they were going to talk about Mario RPG. Yeah. The Super Mario RPG game is back with updated graphics. Not surprised either. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. All right, what do we have? Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt I mean, or decrease damage received. Really when you time your attacks perfectly, really you can now damage all enemies at once. Yeah. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But Boss these powered-up bosses so, aren't going to be easy. Interesting. Although, knowing how RPGs tend to go, like if, 
I have a feeling if you fight the post game, they'll Set probably be more adventure with Mario and friends when Super Mario yeah, RPG right. launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 17th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. I already have that pre-order. Hey. Me oh. too. Look alive. We're almost there. Now what's this? <sighs> The Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from this the father she thought had passed played. away. Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. That actually looks interesting. Can you see me? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when Another Code Recollection launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin today okay. on Nintendo eShop. Early 2024 game. Well, they did say it was going to be mostly major releases. Another code yeah. recollection includes two yeah. games, the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released in North America. Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next year. Next, please take a look at this. All right, what's next? <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get a little look at the Princess Peach game. Yeah, Ooh. Like... One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then... The Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian, Stella, to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Whoa, Peach transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. By transforming, wow. she can use fantastic show-stopping cool. abilities. Fend wow. off the Sour Bunch with sensational sword play. Can Peach save this performance and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach, investigate clues, and track down who done it. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Oh, no. Turn into Patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach, showtime. Makes its debut on March Nintendo 22nd. Switch March okay. 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. So it's called Princess Peach Showtime. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. 
In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. All right, what's next? A new saga begins. A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. Saga Emerald Beyond, okay. I have never heard of Six this heroes one. to choose from. A young man who it's fights a with sentient RPG. puppets. Well, I know that. It's just, I, a witch I've disguised never heard as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. Yeah. A crime-fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques to control the order of actions or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Just the release here, no window. All right. The Legendary Raider returns. Ooh, Laura Croft, okay. The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded That's visuals, are venturing iffy. onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. As the fearless archaeologist, Lara Croft, you'll travel the world and face off against deadly foes and even deadlier I've legends. Really been into Climb, backflip, and swan dive either. through perilous quests spanning different countries and mythologies. Along the way, you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, 14. launches on the Nintendo and Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I'm skipping that one, I think. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Okay, more information on Detective Pikachu, which makes sense. Every That's only a few weeks away from coming out. Early. Yep. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo yep. of Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people, Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. Follow sense with Growlithe. Oh, there's, there's Growlithe. Smash Good rocks boy. with Darmanitan. <laughs> and peer through walls with Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. This game's a real toot. Raise your breath for those the quirky rhythm, rhythm, rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. A laugh. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Well, it was bound to happen eventually, but I think we or got our first IR dud of this on the right I don't controller. like this one at all. The controls are pretty unique, <laughs> and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica and everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. 
trombone champ slides Scott on do Nintendo this. Switch later today. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to do that way one. To victory no. in these Nintendo Switch games. All right, what do we have here? Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Battle crush. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow. That one looks kind of cool. Or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with this your allies looks to be the last cool. team Not standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. A closed beta test will be available this October. Probably one of those live Need your mercenaries games. to fame and fortune in this open world tactical More RPG. Tales. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Mm. Run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved NES classic, oh. Contra. Blast Contra through explosive stages Contra. with a devastating okay. arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. This Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls and a variety of well, difficulty this is a nice options. Surprise. This reimagining from Konami oh, and Way Forward features okay, so new weapons, Contra apparently is a thing again. enemies, powerful super attacks, oh, and a four a new player game. co op mode. That's what it looks like. Contra Operation Galuga storms onto the Nintendo Switch system years. early next year. Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your destiny. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Febreth, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again, ring of legend lighting his path. Probably another fire that emblem. Is if the I were ring to guess. of the unicorn. Ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal fire lineage. Emblem. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. I don't know evil. what this is. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains like... now is to walk it. Walk it I will, Mother. Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies, forge your bonds and lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters, from humans and elves to massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas. And Vanillaware oh, it's from present okay, the so it's rebirth not of tactical fantasy no. RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Unicorn Overlord. Available March eighth, twenty twenty four. Yeah, okay, I've never heard of that one, so I'm probably gonna skip it. Okay. Yeah, this is another one that you, that we need more information on. It's the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Luigi just chilling there. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Oh, okay. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our Luigi's faint of heart too. hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. 
You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand, a mine covered in ice and snow, and even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. Summer, okay. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. Oh, so they're going by the European title for that, okay. Okay, this might have something to do with NSO. All right, what's this? Oh, well, it's Mario themed. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. Oh. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Okay. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. A museum, okay. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. Okay, that's not too far off. We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Please stay tuned. Okay, interesting. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo Ooh. figures are releasing on November 3rd. Same day as WarioWare. And Amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, oh. is on the way. With the release of Sora, I think the Smash everyone is here for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Amiibo form. Over that. Please look forward to its release next year. Yeah, I, I think the That's Smash all for just lost their minds over that. Next, please take Dana a look at this. Smash Sora. Yeah. Alright, what's next? Oh, F-Zero! F-Zero! Now, is this gonna be a new game? The first F-Zero game... ...returns as a 99-player battle royale! You've gotta world. be kidding me! F-Zero 99! Are you Race kidding on me? classic F-Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Tear through courses in high-speed races, but be careful! Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Complete goals what while a you're big racing slap to in unlock the face cosmetic to the options fans. for your machine. Just say you were going to rage. Uh, let's just say the F-Zero people are probably not very happy with this 99 at all. players, one winner. It's time to race your way to first place because F-099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members later today. Well, that's nice, but what's the point of that when you're just gonna pull More it off the 30 years after, like after year. its original release, F-Zero is back as a Battle Royale game. That's this title very also insulting. supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Yeah, and that's probably gonna sell out very we quickly. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. 
one little hero, one humongous right, problem. Next? Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch uh, next year. Not really interested in that. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends, Nunu and Willem, on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, and sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 1st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay, so that's about a half. Let's move into formation. Okay, WarioWare, here we go. Trip with these chops doesn't feel like a prize. Ah. Yeah. Greetings, welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. In each micro game, you'll get into a specific pose called a form. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Three. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty, everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Okay, Pre-orders are available oh, now yeah, on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Meet Noah, a humble villager. Sane, an officer from the Empire, and Marissa, a forest guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is your home base, known as the Headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust, betrayal, justice, and truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch April 23rd. Well, that one's not Participate in some pixel perfect play. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend you to livestock. To stick Whip up culinary delights for your neighbors you? and restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. I know you said it's DLC, but still, ventures on he just has one direct about one freaking farm sim. 
get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's groove to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. War Groove 2 marches on the Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop later today. The final wave is okay. racing in. Here's a sneak yep. peek at Wave 6, Here we go, the Mario final Kart wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy, Daisy Circuit. Circuit. Ooh, More returning okay. characters are also Good being choice. added in Wave 6. From the Diddy Mario Kong. Kart Double yes. Dash game, Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart Wii, Funky Kong. Kong. Funky Kong. And from the Mario Kart Tour game, Pauline. You know what the best part is? And also, Keychat. I, I predicted both Pauline and Diddy Kong were gonna make it. So I was right! And Four new characters! The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo this Switch holiday this season. holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online okay. Plus Expansion Pack <clears throat> members so can enjoy Diddy this Kong, DLC Funk at Kong, no additional Keychat cost. Okay, the DLC can also be purchased on its own. I'll take that. Something new is among us. Looks like some new content for the Among Us game, I think. Yep. Among Us the Fungal. This new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. Okay. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Deal Mask. Yep. Pitman 1 2 physical version, which is next Friday. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. We got this still saying winter. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. 
This next video will be our last announcement. Please take a look. All right, what do we have? Uh, no Metroid. No. Oh my god. What's this? Wait, <gasps> what? It, it's... Is this a remake of the original Paper Mario Fred 64? No, it's from Thousand Year Door! Watching something. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess Nintendo's not ready to show more Metroid Prime Four yet. But this is nice too! This is really Or if it releases on on this year. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, like, I kind of thought they weren't gonna do a remaster of this or a remake because of Mario RPG, and I guess I was wrong. I can't predict Nintendo. Oh, that's Nintendo for you. Oh, Super Paper Mario 2? No, that, no, 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 that's the, um... No, it's still Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, it's just the uh, Bowser scene. Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you'll look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Like, I'll be honest, like, I was not expecting a remaster of Thousand Year Door to show up, mainly because of the Mario RPG remake that's coming out soon. I always knew that was going to happen. <sighs> it was it was a matter of when. Yeah. I I, I have a I have a feeling they chose twenty twenty four specifically because of the fact that well it will be 20 years since the original game came out. Yeah. <sighs> but no new DK platformer, although Mario vs. Donkey Kong's not that of a consolation prize. I'll take that at least. Yeah. But an F but an F Zero NSO type game, like really? <sighs> <clears throat> This is typical Nintendo for you folks. They're masters at giving you exactly what you don't want. <sighs> I was about to give it like a 6 or a 7 on a scale of 1 to 10. But after seeing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, that just breaks it up to an 8. Yeah. Like, I can tell you right now, there's probably a lot of people, a lot of Paper Mario fans that just lost their minds over that surprise. Yeah. <sighs> I remember I played that Nintendo GameCube game. I was hoping it was going to get remastered. Well, there you go. I mean, it must be pretty far away, though, from uh, being released if they only gave a year. Like, we'll probably get more information on that later. Yeah. 
All right, well, that's it for this Nintendo Direct uh, reaction video. Uh, thank you for joining me for this, AJ. Uh, no problem. All right, we'll see you again soon, folks.